Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is numerical solution of equations. In this lesson, we're going to learn about graphical analysis and signs analysis. Our requirements read, 1. By sketching a suitable pair of graphs, show that the equation x cubed plus 4x equals 7x plus 4 has only one root for 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. 2. Verify by calculation that this root lies between x equals 2 and x equals 3. Going to the algorithm, step 1, sketch given functions. We do have a requirement to graph, so we will complete step 1. Notice two things about this graphing scenario. One is that we're looking at roots in the range of 0 to 5, and two, given the two functions that we're working with, we'll be focusing on quadrant 1 positive x and positive y values. Now, what are the two functions that we're working with? Looking at the equation, the function on the left is x cubed plus 4x. I'm going to divide this equation into two functions and graph these functions separately. y equals x cubed plus 4x and y equals 7x plus 4. The roots are the intersections, one or more, of these two functions. So now graphing, and again focusing on the first quadrant, x cubed plus 4x. I can set up a table to calculate some y values given some x inputs. Let's start with an x value of 0. If x is 0, then y is 0 plus 0, which is 0. So I plot that point at the origin. If x is 2, then x cubed will be 8. 4 times 2 will be 8, and y will be 16. So we see that the first function is rapidly increasing for a relatively small increase in x. Let's look at the second function, y equals 7x plus 4. In this case, we have a linear function with a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of 7. So moving from 0, 4 up at a steep slope, we will have one intersection. And given the steepness of both the curve and the line, we don't know the exact root, but we do know that that intersection, that root, comes before x equals 5. That is between x equals 0 and x equals 5, which completes step 1 of the algorithm. Step 2, analyze graph. I'm going to note the observation based on my graph of 1 root 4, 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. Now, part two, verify by calculation that this root lies between x equals 2 and x equals 3. Step three of the algorithm, identify range of root that's been given to us. 2 is less than, x is less than 3. Notice those are exclusive. Between means we exclude the endpoints. Now, how do we do this verification? We use signs analysis which refers to the evaluation of the sign of the answer resulting from a given input into an equation. Before inputting, we want to rearrange our equation so that all terms are on the left and we set the equation equal to zero. So we will have x to the power of 3 plus 4x minus 7x minus 4 equals 0, which we can simplify to x to the power of 3 minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. At this point, I'm going to change from an equation to a function. f of x equals x to the power of 3 minus 3x minus 4. And now I'm going to evaluate this function with two different inputs. The 2 and the 3 given in requirement 2. f of 2 equals, and now all x's will become 2's, 2 to the power of 3 minus 
3 times 2 minus 4. This equals 8 minus 6 minus 4, or negative 2. Let's do the same with 3. f of 3 equals, now replacing all x's with 3's, 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 4 equals 27 minus 9 minus 4, which is 14. And now we can evaluate our signs. Let me go up and note the beginning of step 4, verify range of root with signs analysis. That's where we set everything equal to 0, and we're working our way down through that process. Now notice the first result has a negative value as an output. The second result has a positive value as an output. That sign change indicates the presence of a root between 2 and 3. And we'll complete step 4 by writing change of sign indicates root between 2 and 3. Step 5 doesn't apply to this example. We're not asked to improve the accuracy of our answer. In summary, we sketched our functions showing that there is one root between 0 and 5. That's our graphical analysis. And we've completed our analysis of the input values of 2 and 3, producing a sign change, indicating a root between 2 and 3, which is our signs analysis. We've completed our requirements, and this concludes numerical solution of equations example 1.